One of the things we get asked a lot when selling coal in the Mason Mills is what makes the mechanism great and why is this product better than another competitive mill that you might see out in the marketplace? Believe it or not, aesthetics is a part of it. That's the part that gets you to buy the mill and have it on your counter and display it and be proud of it. But the, the mechanisms or the innards of the mill are probably more important because that's where the flavor is actually coming from. So I want to talk about uh, the mills by grouping them by category. So the majority of the Cole and Mason lineup is going to fall into either a precision mechanism or a gourmet precision mechanism. So we're going to talk through what that precision mechanism entails for both salt and pepper, and then I'll differentiate what is the difference there when you move into the gourmet precision styles. It's really not too complicated, so don't get too caught up in the lingo. And then I'm also going to talk a bit about uh, how to refill, because we get that question a lot. And then I'm going to bring Matt in, our favorite chef Matt in, to do a little blind taste test with a competitive mill versus ours. And hopefully he gets the right answer, because of course the right answer is the Cole and Mason mill is better tasting pepper, but we're gonna put Matt to the test on that. So to go back to where we started, let's talk through the precision mechanisms. So I have here um, two different pepper mills and two different salt mills, okay? These happen to be the Marlowe and our uh, capstan, our wood capstans. And what I'm gonna show you is that on the pepper mill, you'll notice that you see metal down here on the inside of this black collar. And on the salt mill, you see white. This one, this mechanism for pepper is made of a hardened carbon steel. And on the salt, this guy is made of a very sharp diamond cut ceramic. That helps get very precise salt grind, but you can't have a steel mechanism for salt because salt is very corrosive. We all know if you leave things out in salty air, salty weather, things near the beach, they corrode and they don't last. So salt mills should not have a steel mechanism. Okay, so that's just kind of a very basic differentiation then between our pepper mills and our salt mills. We do use a unique mechanism for both. And on the pepper mills, you have that, um, again, this is the precision mechanism, and it's a two-stage mechanism that is inside here. You can't see that. But what that does is it allows the peppercorn to funnel down into the mechanism. First, it cracks the peppercorn. The black peppercorns are really hard try to break one with your fingers, you'll notice how hard they are. So it's, first of all, it cracks that, and then it strips it. And what that does, by cracking it first and then stripping it, it's not crushing it, it's stripping away at it, and that releases the oil. And the oil is where the great flavor is in the pepper, which is what you want. You're not just putting it on top of your food for decoration, you want it to really taste good. So that's what's happening in that two-stage precision mechanism. So what's different when you move into the gourmet precision mechanisms is same thing, salt versus pepper, case hardened steel, or a diamond cut ceramic. This has got its little protector on here that we put on there whenever we ship them so the salt and pepper don't go everywhere. So you can see that case hardened steel, again, the diamond cut ceramic. And with gourmet precision as opposed to the regular precision, you are adjusting your grind from coarse to fine right down here on the front collar. So you just turn the collar where the brand logo is and you get coarse to fine. Now, if we move back to precision, you don't have that collar. So you're wondering, how do you adjust that? These guys are adjusted down here on the bottom with the little dial, again, that has markings. A small dot is fine, large dot is coarse, and you just twist that, okay? Very simply, just twist that around to go from fine to coarse. So when you go to the gourmet precision, the difference is how you adjust the grind. And these guys are broken out in the catalog so you can see the difference between which ones have that collar to adjust, gourmet, and which ones do not. The grinding mechanism otherwise is the same. It's that precision mechanism. You're still gonna get that great release of oil and that wonderful flavor. So we alluded to the fact that Cook's Illustrated loves our Derwent Mill and it's been continually rated as their perfect mill and the top choice. One of the reasons for that is the high output as we talked about and also the fact that when you adjust it, you get a marked difference between coarse and fine. I've taken mills before, competitive products, and I've set them in different settings. A lot of times the, the grind looks almost the same and you can't really tell that you've adjusted it. I like ours because you really get a difference. So we'll start off, I'll show you grinding on the coarsest of the coarse, and I'll just show you, we won't go through all six, I'll show you three different ones. So here is your extra coarse grind. This is something that you're going to use um, when you really want to be able to see the, the pepper and have more of that bold pepper taste. 
Okay, so you can see how nice and coarse that is. And you can see with just a few turns how much pepper I actually got out of the mill. Then let's move over somewhere here in the middle. We'll start about here, I think looks good. Okay, and we'll see what you get output wise here. You can see I'm getting way less of those larger chunks of pepper. It's pretty even, I'd call that a medium grind, which since I have it set in the middle is exactly what I was looking for, right? And then if you want super, super fine, maybe you're doing a soup or something where you don't wanna see the pepper, but you definitely need the flavor. We'll come all the way over here to the finest grind on this gourmet precision mill. And you'll see, wow, that all of a sudden looks a lot finer than what I had here in the middle. So you can see the differences between super fine, kind of a medium grind, and then your coarsest of grind using the Derwent in this case, which has the gourmet precision mechanism. You'll get similar results when you're using the regular precision mechanism. It's just you're adjusting it using the dial. So it's not quite as easy to pinpoint where you are with fine, medium, and coarse, but you're still gonna get the different outputs like you see here. So that is definitely one of the big selling points of the Colin Mason Mills is the mechanism which cracks and then strips the peppercorn. You get such a nice, really, really strong pepper aroma. If you've ever gone to a restaurant or taken an old pepper shaker that you might have had in your house, pulled it out, shaken it on your food, a lot of times it doesn't smell like anything. So you're really putting it on more for decoration than you are for taste. So that mechanism is really important to release the oils and give you the best tasting food as well as a really consistent and nice output. Matt is gonna help us today perform a little taste test that we like to do to show the difference in the flavor of grinding pepper with one of our precision mechanisms versus a competitive mill, which will remain nameless. So I'm going to, Matt's not looking, I'm going to take and on half of this tray where the four pieces are, I'm gonna take and put the competitive pepper mill grind. On the other side, I'm gonna put the Cole and Mason grind. And the purpose of this is so that you can smell and taste the difference in the pepper. And we're gonna see if Matt votes the competitive mill or the Cole and Mason mill as his top choice for giving the best flavor. We've already talked about the output, what it looks like. Now we're gonna to try to cover the flavor aspect. So this mill will remain nameless. It's got an, a top adjustment grind, so I'm gonna get it kind of somewhere in the middle, okay? Not super fine, not super coarse. We don't want to choke Matt on large peppercorns. And we're just gonna go, whoops, that's a little coarse. It's hard to adjust, but I'm trying to get it a little bit finer. All right, so I said those four, we're gonna have the competitive pepper on there. And then we are going to take uh, one of our gourmet precision mechanisms, and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna to try to get it somewhat equal to what that is. So I'm gonna put it about here on the, about the fourth setting over. And we're gonna do this guy real quick. Oops, that's a little bit finer. Okay. I wanna choke him, but we wanna make sure there's enough so we can taste it. Okay, so Matt was not watching what I just did. He's gonna come on over here and we are going to let him taste both and see if he notices a difference in smell and flavor. Hi, Nicole. So Matt, you get to be the guinea pig today, aren't you lucky? Awesome. Okay, so you can try either side first, but I want you to try one from that side and one from that side. You know, right away, I'm smelling a lot of pepper. You wanna see if you can tell the difference in the smell yeah. between the two? Okay, I can smell a lot of pepper on that, and okay. then this is the other side. Yeah, not nearly as much. And to be fair, while Matt is eating and, and thinking through this with his sensory smell and taste, I put the same peppercorns from the same jar in both mills today, so there's no trickery with using different peppercorns here. That had a little pepper flavor to it, okay. but not really that much. Okay. Wow. Um, there's significantly more pepper flavor on this half. Whichever one was this half, significantly more flavor. Well, that half was our Cook's Illustrated favorite mill, the Derwent. Awesome. So, which is again, the gourmet precision mechanism, which is between that and our precision mechanism in the majority of the product line. So you're really getting, you can tell by the smell, wow. you can yeah. tell by the flavor, it's a dramatic it difference. tastes totally different. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a simple, great test to do with a plain cracker. We use water crackers because they're readily available and there's no taste to them. And cream cheese, plain cream cheese, don't get the fancy stuff. And do that taste difference. Hopefully you'll do it at least at home and maybe it's something that you want to talk about and share with your customers as well. 
a, if you're going to take the time to pepper food, it better have some flavor, Absolutely. right? So there is a benefit, not only in appearance with using a cold and mason mill, but because of the mechanism that's there and the way it strips the peppercorn after it cracks it, that you get the flavor output out of it. For sure. Super. Mm -hmm.